I love that me and him are the people that have talked so far, but neither of us have any clue why we're here. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> yeah. Hello and welcome to VR Kana, a role play adventure. I am your host, Danny K. With me, I am joined by Mandachi, Mr. Green Elite. Hello, comrade. Quasar.exe. Oi. Andy Falco 64. It's me, Andy. That's a better Mario than what Chris Pratt does. And that is. <laughs> zombie potion. Uh, I'm slowly getting more undressed as this episode goes on. Yeah, you are. Same. I have no pants. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So let's do a quick recap of what happened in <laughs> the last episode or what happened before the break, which is that the players were enjoying a nice, calm, quiet day until Devious just showed his ass again and announced that he was dropping a cubic gate in the northern battlefield of Goldleaf. This cubic gate would allow whoever possesses it to open portals to other locations on the map and all other teleportation on the uh, in Cosmos of Conflict would be turned off once the item was claimed. We join our party as they are fervently moving through the crowd to get to the northern battlefield. Along the way, they hear and see all sorts of people talking about this cubic gate. They're talking about the factions. They are naming names like Drake the Purple. They are naming uh, Dogma and Celia. You're hearing names of uh, the guilds, the uh, Purple Drakes, and the Black Eyes, and the Navigators. All sorts of just murmuring and fervent. You see groups wearing the colors of these guilds, or of these uh, PvP clans, uh, or of these just different clans in general, I should say, uh, as they all move north. Any any thoughts, questions before we kind of get back into it? All good here. Okay, I'm ready. So, uh, as I as I said in the last in the previous episode, the northern battlefield of Cos of Goldleaf in Cosmos of Conflict is basically a free-for-all zone a lot like the wilderness of runescape right you cross it and pretty much everything goes this is where pvp happens this is where death now happens well death by other players specifically the northern battlefield is a wide open plain that is surrounded by a perimeter of trees the knee-high grasses are permeated with wildflowers shrubs and other small flora and there is small fauna there you have some small game uh things like deer rabbits quail right all sorts of stuff like that uh the open field is dotted with strategic positions that are small log encampments with tents and small towers that are perfect for sharpshooters in the center in like the direct center of the northern battlefield the cubic gate floats high above it all it, there's a bright pillar of light demarcating where it is and the cubic gate itself is a massive massive object measuring 25 feet in each dimension it is a big cube obviously uh it shimmers with near holographic blue light and at its core, an orb of light-changing color, uh, like RGB gamer puke, uh, you know, <laughs> at its core. Uh, and it's like just a rapidly evolving rainbow. And occasionally, the cube divides and reassembles itself in odd geometric patterns. Hmm. The three major f uh, player factions that you have all heard about by now and their leaders and followers have already arranged themselves at the line of the safety zone. The purple drakes, the black eyes, and the navigators all have made impromptu camps and encircled themselves at the edge with their clan's respective color banners hanging on in the wind. The purple drakes with banners of violet adorned with white dragon wings 
the black eyes with banners of red adorned with red eyes and the navigators with banners of gold adorned with blue stars do you guys have any questions what do i know about the navigators that's a great question. Do you want to go on ahead and do a, we'll say a history check? Oh, I absolutely do. With my negative one. Oh. Uh, however, oh, looks like it had a, it had a hiccup moment here. Give me uh -huh. two seconds. Uh, I rolled a 16 for a total of 15, so not too shabby. Okay. So you know that the navigators are a group of players who have dedicated their time and attention to protecting other players since the uh, they, they started out as kind of like Sherpas guiding players through quests. But now you know that they run like caravans between cities and they also will occasionally run like rescue missions if people are stuck somewhere uh, they're kind of, you know, think of them almost like a coast guard in a way. You know, they're they're out there helping people on the road, getting people back, you know, doing rescue missions, all sorts of stuff like that. And this is this is like a long standing guild. Like this guild's been around for a while. Like it was here uh, in the previous season. Yeah. So they would have they in previous seasons, they would have been just like guiding people or helping people out on raids or showing like showing people how to get places or whatever else. Um, like a very friendly uh, community focused guild, kind of charitable. Yeah. So knowing that um, I am assuming that we're kind of like moving into this area, I'm going to shout around to me like we need to go and make contact with the navigators it'll make sense in a moment okay uh how do you guys respond why why the navigators why can't we just go talk to the black eyes of the purple drakes like why do we got to talk to any of these people i plan on not going to prison after we escape the cosmos of conflict rex to be honest prison not what I asked. You, st you still don't understand. That's okay. And I just like pat his head as I'm like holding him again, <laughs> like a rugby ball. And I'm just like mom power walking down the field. And uh, I just uh, kind of like shout again, like, does anyone object to this? I'm following uh, right behind. I'm following the group. Doing, yep. While they're doing that, uh, is there a so, so Danny, you said this. But this battlefield was like was like huge and kind of like just a big large circle or just like a large field or yeah yeah okay. like a big how many entrances are there or is this like does it have like arena walls like i don't know how this is like yeah so you kind of see there's like a like a, a translucent red line like that kind of outlines oh, it oh so it's like sure, as, soon gotcha. as, you, as soon as you cross that red line you're free right game. Ow, fuck. Okay. Um, and so how many other uh, groups of people do we see other than the ones that are obviously very close to us and we're all kind of on the same side of this battlefield? Um, I would say that each guild at the moment probably has at least 50 people and they're like respective encampments around the perimeter of the safety zone. There are other people there, but in smaller groups like yours. Okay. Um, is do we do I see anybody already in the arena, even potentially trying to like blend in and hide and wait? Not. Um, no, no, nobody's crossed. Uh, it's okay. Definitely, like, it definitely seems like some sort of agreement has been made that nobody is going to cross yet. Interesting. But you, the, you okay. do, I will say, you guys feel there is a lot of tension, right? Between these three yeah. factions, like, everyone is kind of eyeing each other. You have, uh, you know, like, the guilds, ranged players, all kind of 
like they keep glancing over the bay over the over the perimeter line just waiting to see if someone like sprints um because as soon as that happens like pandemonium is gonna erupt right and there's gonna be in i'm gonna say you all have this innate feeling that as soon as somebody attempts to get the cubic gate there's going to be a lot of bloodshed gotcha <laughs> okay cool uh, otherwise, I'm just kind of nodding at JB. I'm just following him. Okay. Um, so, you all begin to uh, move towards the... Uh, you all begin to move towards the Navigator's Camp. And again, like I said, they... A lot of them, you can see, like, official members are wearing cloaks of, um, or, like, capes and armor adorned with gold and blue. Um, and I will say, out of the groups that are here, they are, like, the most friendly. They're the ones who, so far, you don't feel like they are going to try to put a knife in you or anything like that. Um, do you have any thoughts, questions at the moment? Um, I, I know I myself am going to just remain cautious. Literally every time that I talk to someone new, I'm going to try and read their motives, all their body language and how they speak, um, regardless of who they were in previous seasons. We're in a completely different game now. Uh, okay. No pun intended. <laughs> so that's I, I can only speak for myself though so like i said all of the uh all like they're kind of like in a big circle and at the center and i'm gonna uh, i sent you guys a photo here um at the center is celia she is a let me let me grab my uh, information Ooh. here she is a uh elven player high elf player again let me find my my notes here yes uh she is the lead paladin of the guild um she is a high elf player and uh very fierce but she has a heart of gold um do you have so she's there she's kind of surrounded you see another player his name tag above his head is Mako Moonman. Uh, he's an Azamar player. Um, do you do you say anything to them? Uh, am I am I walking yet, or am I still in uh, Honduin's arms? You can jump out of my arms anytime you want, but I mean, I'd oh. rather you stayed. <laughs> he's, he's like a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me get the harness. Oh my god! Uh, get the leash. The monkey leash. So, uh, uh, I think, uh, I think that Rex, uh, is still pissed off that he hasn't gotten to brush his teeth, but, uh, <laughs> the sight of the paladin elf, uh, he wants to go, he, he, he's trying, he, hey, 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 how's it going? How's, hey, uh, uh, hi, uh, how are you? Yes, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey girl, hey. Hey girl, hey. Is he like I think on as soon hammer? as what's up, girl? Leaning yeah. on his it's up. Wanna get with yeah. a king? <laughs> as soon as you start kind of getting a little wormy, squirmy, I'm just gonna go ew and drop you like a rotten sack <laughs> of potatoes. Ew. Um, <laughs> That's good. So you do approach her then, Rex? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. So you approach her and she looks at you, says hello and then she starts like talking back to Ma uh, mako um i'm gonna step in front of mako and just be like hey you know i i yeah over here looking mighty fine uh you, you know just wanted to get to know you a little bit you know <laughs> so a uh, real quick question when you step in front of mako mm -hmm. do you do it with any sort of brashness rudeness like maybe do you bump into him or anything like that oh absolutely i bump into him rex is not going to uh shy away from physical contact at all okay that's that's good to know uh so you do that and mako kind of goes 
uh, 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 and like he seems flabbergasted like you would be so <laughs> rude to step in front of him but the fact that you bump into him elicits an immediate reaction from the rest of the group of or the rest of the guild around and like they gasp and you see here's did he just touch mako yeah i just touched him the fuck i don't want to talk to the guy i'm talking to her she's the she's the fucking pretty one what are you guys all gasping about and like the guy who says did he just touch mako like st steps up and like he's like cracking his knuckles and he picks you up he goes Mako is to never be harmed. He is a cinnamon roll. Do you understand? Uh, can I roll intimidation? Uh, one second. Like how yes. we just let this happen? Uh, yes, you can. But let me pull up a stat block real quick. <laughs> So go my goblin make makes his own bed and sleeps in it. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. I'll clean up my own messes. He says that, but <laughs> will he? Will he be able to? Let's find out. Uh, no, we just gotta let him work this out. Let, him, let this work him out of, in the system. You know, just, I've been I've been yeah. wanting to roll intimidation like since we started playing because I have a plus four to that. <laughs> he's yeah. uh he, he's got the rage ability. He'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yep. Uh I rolled a 10, so it's a 14. Okay. So I'm going to roll that against his uh his charisma. He rolled a 13. <laughs> What'd you oh. say? You rolled a 14? <laughs> yes, I rolled a 14. Okay, so what do you say to him? Look here, buddy. I have been pulled out of bed. I have not gotten to brush my teeth. The only good thing that's happened today is I've met this beautiful, beautiful woman over here. I don't care if you think that this guy shouldn't be touched or not. It's not my problem. That's your problem, buddy. And if you want to make it a problem, we can make it a problem. <laughs> Um, and it's kind of at that moment that Celia stands up. She places a hand on on the guy and says, "While I appreciate you watching out for Mako, he is a very skilled player and can take care of himself. Put the little goblin down." And he looks at her, looks at you looks at Mako, back to you, back to her, kind of <laughs> scoffs, goes, and puts you down. And Celia <clears throat> uh, sees now that you're down on the ground. She uh, comes down to your level. She sits on her haunches, goes, I appreciate the compliment, but we are very busy here. Um, if you'd like to talk after this matter is completed, you can send me a direct message. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know, I just wanted to get your digits, baby. I don't know what else to, you know, I, I, we can start off as friends. That's fine. You know, I, I, I don't need to move too fast. <laughs> send her an invite, bro. Just send her an invite, bro. <laughs> so you're telling me there's a chance. It's all that one in a million talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay, what uh, <laughs> after this exchange has occurred, what do you guys say and do? Uh, presumably, I'm walking up there with, you know, the rest of the party, and uh, I'm going to just kind of be like, um, Echo, you seem to be more in line with how these people verse. How about you uh -huh. tell them why we're here? Tell them that, you know... We're good people. We don't want to start trouble like this guy. And I just grab the back of his shirt and I drag him away and leading, letting Echo take the forefront. Why do I, why have I had to talk? I don't like talk. I don't even like talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> You're so like brash and confident. 
Yeah, I, mean, I, I sweat it. I sweat it. It's it's fine. Get over here. And I'm just going to drag him away. I honestly don't even know I were actually here. <laughs> I was at the market, and then we just left. I'm here to make sure these guys don't die. Like, what, what, is, what are we doing here? So it's at, uh, after you're like kind of, you're kind of whispering amongst yourselves here, right? And you've already made a scene, so people are kind of noticing. And Celia takes notice of you, Echo. She goes, a cleric. Have you come to join the navigators? Uh, what is the navigators? She, she takes a moment. There's like a brief pause. She kind of squints her eyes and cocks her head a little bit. The, the navigators, we're, we're the navigators. We're heroes and protectors of the weak. You're not. And, and we're healers. You're you're not here to join us. Uh, no. I I was at the market. Gold. And then these guys pulled me out and took me here. I don't even know why we're here. You like what? What is what? What is going on right now? She looks really confused at that it's like why would you be here at this specific location if you didn't know what was happening she goes you you don't know about the cubic did you not hear what devious said from the clouds no that was a person Even even Olivar looks at you confused now. <laughs> Olivar with no ability to express looks None. at you confused. <laughs> most a weirdly more blank stare than ever. I didn't, <laughs> Olivar's I didn't know eyes, if that actually. Olivar's eyes Ooh. literally dim. <laughs> so you're saying that actually happened. Like that that was a real thing that happened. It wasn't your imagination. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is a very real thing that happened. And uh, the situation here uh, can be very deadly if not handled correctly. So if you're okay. here to help us heal, that your your help would be greatly appreciated. Okay, so are you trying to get me to join clan? Like What's going on? Would, like, would you like to join the navigators? It's okay if you don't. Uh, you know, there's a guy over there, okay? He's about two feet tall. You met him already. <laughs> it's kind of my job to make sure that he doesn't die. Uh, and I'm assuming this is just all clerics, right? Clerics? Some of us are paladin players. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm assuming you would not take the two foot goblin who is also <laughs> playing a goblin. <laughs> well, into the guild. Whoever wants to help the weak is welcome. Fuck the weak. <laughs> okay, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to take care. <laughs> I, I'm with those guys. Um, I'm just trying to figure out like what we're doing here exactly. And then just for a moment, I'm gonna stare off off her, like to her shoulder, like essentially looking at nothing for like mm -hmm. a solid like thirty seconds. Yeah. Right. Just poignant stare. Just. <laughs> uh, let me talk to these guys real quick. I need to figure out what we're doing. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. So I love that I love that me and him are the people that have talked so far, but neither of us have any clue why we're here. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> yeah. So Celia like goes back it, like to her group and she starts kind of whispering. I will say you also hear like murmuring from the other groups. <clears throat> and a, like I said, there's a lot of tension right now. People are are definitely on edge. Uh, what do you say to the rest of the uh, group 
uh, Echo. Uh, so uh, she wants us to, or me, I guess, to join this faction of healers. Um, she wants, like, she said that anyone who wants to help the weak um, can join. Um, that automatically kicks out Rex. <laughs> um, so, like, I, I just need to know what we're doing here. Buff boy, what are we doing here? Okay. Maybe I wasn't as thorough when we I, were running. Ple please, please, relay, Re return, roll back. I don't, What what are we doing here? I'd like to imagine that I finally let go of the uh, back of the collar of Rex's shirt and he just like tumbles. And I just like stamp a slam my staff like on his on his foot. Just like <laughs> hold him in place so he doesn't go chasing off again. What am I a lost puppy? What are you guys doing? Quite literally, yes. Uh, stop being such a dog and maybe we'd actually make some friends. I was being nice. You're being creepy. <laughs> you almost got in a fight. It was like 20 seconds we're here and you almost get in a fight. He, with he the most, like, with the most peaceful game. guild. He started yes. it. That guy started it. I don't know who he was, but he started it. Do I recognize that name that was just dropped? Which name? Mako? Crimson King. No, nope, no, nope. no one recognizes that name. That doesn't exist. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna side eye that and file that away in the important names pile. <laughs> important names pile. Wait, hold on. I feel like I missed something, and I'm the DM. Where did the name Crimson King come from? Uh, Green said it. To it's fuck with uh. With to Rex. fuck with Rex. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So I'm going to kind of look at them incredulously and then be like, I don't know what's going on between you two, but something nothing. that we need. Nothing. Nothing is going on. I'm and about to ask the cleric to cast silence on you so that you'll listen. But there's not a spell high enough to make you do that. I'm going to have to just ask you to do this for me. Can you I just need listen? to know what's going on here. I know. So what are we here? Can can we expedite this a little bit here? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yes, please. I was gonna stop talking. I was gonna just go and drink for a little bit until whatever the fuck's going on happens. Okay. <laughs> so, in explaining this to you both, we're not entirely certain what the purple drakes are up to. Damu and Olivar both believe that they are trying to create a high level army that they will use. Um, with expediency to try and get out of Cosmos of Conflict. However, they postulate that these people are probably expendable, and uh, it's just going to be a wall of bodies by the time that they get to the finish line. We're here at the Cubic Gate to try and figure out who's trying to use it and, what, and, and stop people from killing each other over it. This gate can take you anywhere in Cosmos of Conflict, and... Ultimately, it serves as almost like a linchpin for everything moving forward. It could be very, very bad if Drake the Purple and his Purple Drakes or the Black Eyes get their hands on it. We need to talk to the Navigators and figure out what their plan is. They have a good history of helping players through raids, through quest lines, newbies and veterans alike. We need to ally with them and Got get it. a good solution going forward. Okay. Whatever you I, say, Captain. That's, that's all I needed to know. We need to talk to them, figure out what they're doing. Okay. Yes. And so we also need to keep an eye out for Drake Drake the Dragon. <laughs> Close enough for me. And so he's not he's not building an army, he's building cannon fodder. Okay. Yes. Alright. So I'm gonna go back to uh I'm sorry, what did you say her name was? Celia. Celia, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go back to her and be like, "Hey, I'm sorry about before. I, I'm, I was dragged over here. Um, you're very nice uh, for doing what you're doing. 
um, but what is the plan? Like, what what's going on? What have you seen? Well, uh, really, all three of us guilds, main guilds, uh, got here at the same time. No one's crossed yet. Um, we are attempting to get our plans together for a negotiation. Um, are are you wanting to help us? Um, if it means we can figure out what's going on as a whole, absolutely. Well, we haven't sent an envoy to either the Black Eyes or to the uh, Purple Drakes yet. Would you, would you maybe want to be our envoy? You're going to so you're, uh, hold on. I just met you. You just met and you you're gonna you're gonna trust us with something that could start a war i may be i'm not crazy but that sounds a little crazy well and she like looks you up and down you're not wearing gold you're not wearing black and you're not wearing purple so you seem like a pretty neutral party to me. Does she see my outfit? Look, I'm I my full ass rainbow outfit. <laughs> You're not wearing my new, neutral. <laughs> my <laughs> magical girl outfit. <laughs> she is not re like I'm talking like solid clad. Yeah. Like you know. Solid clad um you know colors yeah, right yeah. Mm. okay i'm gonna have to uh so like if we go talk to these people right um shouldn't we have like maybe like someone high up from their guild plan to come with us as like a you know like a mediation like our group's the mediator you know, because I like we're not, a, yeah, we're not affiliated with anyone. We're kind of doing our own thing. I'm, I'm just making sure that Jackass doesn't die. Um, but like, I don't know what we would say to these people to like get them to not kill us or anyone else. Well, you certainly could take Mako with you. I'm sure he would be more than willing to oblige and speak on behalf but really what we need to know right now is what does everybody want so that we don't have this situation devolve into bloodshed okay. if we can get concessions in an agreement we can get through this without anyone dying and that is our goal. okay so do you want them to agree to meet at one spot three liters or do we go to each one like is that what is your plan how do you want us to do this give them the navigators terms get their terms bring them back to me and then we shall decide if a meeting is warranted okay i don't want anyone to die i don't want this to go crazy so let's just keep this done and over with i guess so i'm gonna go back to the group and be like hey guys this is what's going on relay the, the information to them yep you yeah so. you relay all that information to them uh how do you all respond i'm actually I, i'm I'm gonna I'm gonna call out one person here. Quasar, you've been a little quiet. Mm-hmm. How do you, what do you say? I say I think Damu would still just kind of be She's kind of quiet in the sense of she wants to observe and do anything that she needs to survive. So she's kind of just taking in all this information, flying back and forth from people. She doesn't really want to say things out loud that kind of implicate her in a position that kind of 
puts her in a place that can get her in trouble with any side. She's trying to play Switzerland, basically, and just kind of listening and surviving at this point. She doesn't want to say something that could imply them or implicate them getting in trouble or implicate them making the wrong decision. So she's just kind of six. She's kind of sitting back and observing right now. Okay. And yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to open it back up to the rest of the group. What do you guys, what do you guys think? What do you guys say to each other after getting this information from echo secondhand uh, and, and what Celia, knowing what Celia wants now. Do you think that we should all go together? Damu, what would you do? Like, I, is it show of force if we all just approach with one dude from the navigators? Like, I don't want these other places, these other guilds to think that we're trying to, I don't know, you know, puff our so, chests at them. I think, I think we should go, let's take Mako and then I'll go and all of all of our I need you to be my shield here. But um, uh, he responds. Massacre them all. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But Jesus. He's, but he's <laughs> and then he just he immediately follows up with no hesitation. Yes, of course I will protect you. Okay. I got I got all of her with me. Um, and then, uh, I just, uh, Echo turns to Hanwin and says, I just keep him away from her. Cause that could oh. start a whole nother war. And don't I let agree. him fight. Don't let him fight that other guy. Cause that wouldn't get time. Here. You cool definitely away from got it. Wait. You away from everyone. Else, and I'm just gonna, I'm going to attempt to grapple you. Well, uh, grapple even... v grapple checks. I say, yeah. Isn't it a grapple versus uh, strength check? It's uh, <laughs> athletics or <laughs> it's yeah. athletics versus athletics or acrobatics. Correct. Okay. Athletics. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I'm down. I mean, you could do raw strength, but like, it seems like yeah. a waste. I rolled a twenty-two. <laughs> what do you do? Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> As I, I just like went to grab you and I think that right now, like where where you are and like I probably crossed the line. I think that, I think that you were ready for it. I was not. I was just ready because I've been manhandling you this whole time so far. So what do you do when I reach out for you? I grab your arm and throw you over my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Honda, Honda was my, my sciatica. <laughs> <laughs> Flip it. <laughs> yeah. Right on. I got bakied. That's okay. That happens. It happens Oof. every so often. Oof. Okay. You can't win them all. So what do you guys do right now? So uh Oliver and I are gonna move on to God damn, I can't remember her name already. <laughs> Celia? 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 Yeah. Lydia? Celia? Celia? Yeah, Celia. And we're going we're gonna to pick up Mako to uh, talk to him to see where which one he wants to go to first. Okay. Um, okay, so yeah, you approach Celia again. Have you made your decision? Yeah, um, my metal friend here and I are going to... We're going to take Mako and we're going to go talk to your people. Okay. All of our awkwardly bows. And she kind of looks at you again, kind of confused as to like why you're bowing. Hello. <laughs> Hello. This is, this is all of our. Nice to meet you, all of our. Um, Mako, would you accompany them? Lay out the terms to the other two factions and get their terms as well. And like Mako looks back at her and in kind of like this real wholesome, you know, kind of voice he goes, certainly not a problem, Celia. I will go get the terms. I will bring them back to you. And let's hope that this does not lead to violence. I don't I don't like him already. <laughs> Speed run. Speed, Speed run. Speed run. <laughs> uh, okay. So, so he is now in tow. Um, well, 
I, I would assume I I don't know I don't know where I'm going. Um, Marco, can you take us to the first place you want to go? Like who who do we need to talk to? Point point us in the right direction. He goes well. We could go talk to the Black Eyes. Um, I have a feeling uh, they might be the hmm, how uh, the most salty of uh players right now um since this since the change they haven't been we'll say winning a lot um i didn't know this was a winning or losing game. okay well winning in the um in the idea that they've lost a lot of their usual uh leveling grounds and maybe they've lost a few people to the purple drakes. There might there there have been skirmishes in the higher level area, higher leveling areas as of late. Okay. Uh, so let's go talk to them. Or let's start shuffling that way. Okay. So the black eyes. Like I said, they they have uh, they're all kind of like in black cloaks and leather, and um, I would say they are a very edgy looking group. Um, it's the Matrix. If, oh no! <laughs> if this were real life, there might be some My Chemical Romance, mm. Lincoln Park, Black Veil Brides playing. Oh, so good! It's also good. Um, Keep talking. <laughs> Oh, um, Daddy. Yeah. Chair Leto posters everywhere. Just. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, at the center is Dogma. And Dogma is a drow rogue player. And next to her is Delia of the Full Moon. And she is a tabaxi druid player. Um. So Am I able to just approach Dogma? Is he like out and about? Like, what's the deal here? Yeah, very similar. It's like they're kind of like in a big circle, you know, kind of like sure. grouped up. And Dogma and her and her higher ups, including Delia, are kind of in the center, and they're they're talking amongst themselves, and they keep like shifty eyed looking over to, um, looking over to specifically the purple drakes. Oh. Um, going ahead and uh, roll a perception check. Perception check. Okay. All right. I have a 19. Okay. So as you walk up, you do hear them kind of in their, they're kind of whispering and in, in, in speaking uh, in hushed tones, but it's like, we could just, we could just send someone across the border. Sneak. We can wait this out until nighttime. If they're not going to send anyone out in the day, then we can go over at night. So am, am I like close to this? Like am I just like I kind of like shuffle into like the crowd, like like as it like circled around, like just like mm -hmm. no one really notices me scooching in. Like yeah. Uh, or... Echo would be kind of like uh, like human wallpaper in a way right <laughs> yeah yeah like i'm just i'm with my staff just like shuffle like squeeze through like you know like when you're in a crowd like mm -hmm. of a uh, like wall just like kind of squeeze through that way and then squeeze through Polar that will way come up to your side and try to move people away for you very gently yeah. like yeah. i'm holding my staff or you could just parlay with them and uh dogma kind of surprised that a you snuck up on her and b that you spoke out of turn essentially goes uh, who who are you who are uh, you to come in here to my clan and suggest i meet with those jocks hold on now before you get all hasty it's like I see like all you like just you all just turn and look at me. I don't do great in crowds. Uh I was sent over here by 
the wizard people, the clerics, if you will. <laughs> the navigators. Um, the navigators. <laughs> the wizard people. <laughs> the wizard people. I'm over here. I'm I'm over here by the navigators. They want to like get together. They want to do like a parlay with you and with Drake the Dragon, and uh, they want to get like everyone together and just like talk this out and like f- you know, figure stuff out. They sent me. I'm neutral. You know, see, neutral, rainbow puke, neutral. <laughs> I'm I'm every color. Um. Can we like talk this out? Can I roll a persuasion check to like get this to go through? Uh, you don't need to. Okay, because I I'm, I got an advantage and I haven't used my charisma at all. But, okay. Yeah. So she's. I'm gonna say. You all from from your conversation with Mako, from the way that you know they're talking you can tell that the black eyes recognize that they might be at a disadvantage and so if they're at a point right now where they are willing to have conversations and so you approaching them to have this like to to parlay and communicate and talk is attractive to them for that reason good is that we can take the navigators we can take the black eyes you know you wouldn't be alone in just talking to drake the dragon so here is a uh, maka maka step on up hey there you go so uh, i'm just talking out here and give him the information mm-hmm. step back a little bit with my staff <laughs> so mako like steps up and uh he's a I don't know if I said this, but he's a paladin player, right? So he like, you know, shimmies his armor and like stuff and dogma, Delia, and like really polite, like, you know, like head nods. The navigators, you know, we have no use for the leveling zones, for the PVP zones, but we do have use for this cubic gate. We would like to use this gate to provide safe passage to select areas for players in need. And we want to be able to mount our rescue efforts in quicker times. We want faster response times for the week. What do you need for us to keep this? And Dogma in her her shifty way kind of looks around she looks over at the purple drakes camp who you know they're they're kind of getting loud and ruckus a little bit uh, and you know um she goes i want the purple drakes to vacate five pvp zones we want those five pvp zones to be ours exclusively we want those we want those leveling zones to be ours exclusively. They have kicked us out of those zones and killed our members. If we get those five zones, the navigators can have it. What do you what do you uh, say? Uh, you're muted. Uh, hey guys, should we? Probably talk about this with like everyone in the room. You know what I'm saying? Like, like kind of like an open door policy. You know, like I'll just like you know, talk to maybe Drake as well and like get his input. And then like we need to parlay with all sides of the coin. If you catch my drift. Would you be willing to talk to Drake? Is what I'm saying. Like, if you had the navigators here with you side by side, you know, and we meet in one one spot with just you, one of your people, navigator, envoys, uh, Drake, and one of his people, 
right? And then my group could like, you know, provide like that mediation spot for you. Would that work in a way? Possibly. We, she kind of looks around, must be in a safe zone and only Drake the Purple and Jack's surprise. It'll be me and Thelia, and I want Celia there too with Mako. Yeah, you, you and your person, Drake and his surprise person, yes, and then two navigators, and then we'll be here, you know, we'll, we'll be there, me here with you guys, and there's like, this is the safe zone, right? Like, we haven't crossed that line yet? No. You guys or have I been in danger this whole time? <laughs> no, but you can tell, you can tell that people are really itching to jump over that line. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we can, we can do that. We can get, we'll have to go talk to Drake. We can go, you know, Oliver and I and Mako can go because, you know, they're technically trying to mediate too. Should go head over to Drake. Then you guys can talk it out, you know, and figure this whole thing out. So that way I can go back to, you know, my villa and you know, work on some, I got some stuff. I got, I got a project working on. So. Okay. She, yeah. she agrees to that. Perfect. What do you do now? Uh, we're, let's, I'm going to grab, you know, scoot Mako along and we're going to head over to the Drakes. Okay. Yeah. Dragons. The yeah. purple boys. <laughs> the purpley nurplies. <laughs> purpley nurplies. The purple nurples? Yep. Uh, exactly. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you kind of shuffle through. Uh, there's, you hear, like I said, they're kind of getting ruckus. And uh, Drake the Purple is kind of holding court. And Jack Surprise is there. You know, he's clapping along. And uh, this is kind of like what Drake is saying. Have I not shown you guys that we are the best? Right? And they're like, ho, 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 ho. And we have been dominating. We have been growing as a clan. Am I right? You know, again, ho, 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 ho. And, uh, so I'm, I'm like I'm on the background I'm like hey 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 <laughs> just like quietly like hey can can they hear me? I'm um, assuming it's just too loud. It's Please just tell too, me loud. It's too loud. It's raucous. Like there's all right. There there's just I'm gonna use thermato uh, ther thermo thermato uh, thermogology. I how do we pronounce that? Thaumaturgy. 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 To like make him hear me, make my voice loud. Okay, what do you say? What? Hey, just like just hey. <laughs> Over the ruckus. Parlay. And he goes, and we're going to go. And like he stops and like the crowd hushes. He goes, who are you? I am I still loud? No. Just, if you want to be. I, I mean, was saying, you, like, it's let, still, let, everything's still loud. Hi, it's your I'm spell. Echo. Hi. Nice Hi. to meet you. <laughs> I'm here with the parlay. Oh, oh, shit. Sorry. And then I like cut it off. I'm here with the parlay team. We're trying to like figure out what's going on. Can we, can, can we have a moment of your time, sir? Per he person? You? <laughs> he looks around. He goes, Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are, are uh, uh, is Mako? Mako, right? Are are you here to say that the navigators don't want the cubic gate because, man, that would be pretty swell. I like these guys. I like them a lot. All right, so like, I'm here, Mako, and my my good friend Oliver. This is Oliver. Oliver, say hi. Hello. Um, and we have talked to the black eyes. Um, Dogma um, has agreed to talk, like parlay th you, your your surprise friend, um, and Mako and Selen, 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 <laughs> Celia. Yeah. Celia. Uh, 
and we're gonna mediate i got a group of guys we're neutral we're not part of any of these factions you know we don't we're kind of doing our own thing i'm kind of making sure my a guy i know doesn't die um because his family would be sad um and like we're trying to get you all together so you can all figure this out so i can go home so can we can would you be okay with like coming with us to that he kind of <clears throat> stretches and he looks at jack surprise goes you know i know our guys here if we wanted to we could just mop up whoever crosses that barrier but do we want to really hey. waste those health potions i mean we could if we go hey. meet with them, we can figure it out, right? We could, we can. You can know, figure it out. you can figure it out because, like, the pen is mightier than the sword, okay? And the hammer is um, mightier, mightier than the pen. You're not even there. Shush. I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Shush. Okay. So, like, we're all, you know, you, you joined the game, right? I joined the game. Um, and you know, I got people here played this game, picked this game up, and uh we didn't sign up to die, right? Um and you know, as you've heard, um I'm, and we've we've seen this like there's a couple of us who've like dug in the data, you know, like if you kill someone here in this game, like they're dead out there. So like uh, we're playing this game together. You, know, you just gotta understand, like, those are people too, man. Like, so why don't you talk to them like human beings? Just go over there, and just work this out. Like, we can we can work this out, man. Just go over there. He, he kind of pauses, pensively for a moment, and he goes, "Look, I know that these are all human beings." I know that this is life or death. And that is why, that is why I'm helping my guys get as strong as they can be so they don't die. Now, if the black eyes and the navigators want to meet, let's meet. Because I don't want to waste the health potions, the arrows, and the mana to just claim See, this stupid gate. I don't think... You're getting the point, man. Because, like, you keep bringing up the resources that you have if you need to fight them and kill them. I get it. We, we get we get it. Like, you've been playing this game a while. I've, I, I assume, because, like, everyone keeps talking about, like, PvP. I get it. Cool. Um, but, like, let's just not kill each other. So, let's go. Let's go. Let's just let's just go. Let's let's get let's get this over with. He sort of just like rolls his eye and rolls his eyes and he agrees to follow you. Which will bring us Does it bring him to Jack's does he bring in the surprise boy too? Yep. Yeah. He kinda yeah. like snaps. He's like, Come on, Jax. Um, the fuck? He snaps. Bro, dude, like <laughs> <laughs> Some weirdly placed dom energy that I was not looking gotta at. Gotta have the quickness, dude. It's just, just gotta, you gotta, you gotta read my mind before I even make a decision. You gotta know. So, <laughs> we're going to learn if you can broker peace in the next episode, right after this break. How's that sound? Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. 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 Good I don't even want to be here. <laughs> okay. We all did good. Oh, we good. I did it. Good talk. I made a, yeah, yeah. I made a porridge for us. <laughs> and the three of us are eating a porridge. <laughs> I did we it. Did good talk. Thanks for watching and listening to the show. I am your host and dungeon master, Danny K. My players are Indy Falco 64. Ye. Yeah. Quasar.exe. My cabbages. <laughs> Zombie potion. Who? Mandachi. My freaking leg. And Mr. Green Elite. My cabbage corp.
<laughs> our our character art is done by the lovely and talented Jezza Rose. Go check her out on Twitter. Other art is generated from Mid Journey, and we use Siren Sound and Zap Splat for our sound effects and ambiance. If you want to hang out with us, uh, you can find us on uh, Twitch at the Next to Nothing Network. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And let us know what you think is happening with all of these different factions and what's happening just in general with the Arcana. And uh, yeah, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, keep fighting those good fights, and we'll see you in the next episode or after this very short break if you're joining us on the live stream.